Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com here with another Fro Film Project video. This time we're going to talk about loading film and things to be careful with when you are loading that film into the camera. So I'm not sure I'm going to actually load it because I'm not sure what speed film I'm going to want to use for my next shoot. That's just something that you have to get used to with film is that you don't know what film you're going to shoot with all the time. So if I have a shoot coming up in two days or two weeks, I don't know, is it going to be bright or is it going to be dark? Will I need 200 or will I need 800 speed film? So preloading it is just something that you may not want to do. So, oh, film, film smell, canisters. So here it is. I've got this Ilford HP 5 Plus, but you take the film out and the leader is sticking out. And for you guys who have done film in the past, you know what this stuff is, um, but I just want to explain it to everybody. This is the leader. This is already exposed to light. Anything that is inside the canister is not going to be exposed to light yet. But as you pull this out, you are exposing your film. Now this says it's a 36 roll, uh, 36 exposure roll. So. If loaded properly, you may be able to squeeze out 37 shots. So sometimes people in the past have gotten the 35 or 36, and then they open up the back of the camera without rewinding it. Yes, you have to rewind the film before you open up the back, or you're going to expose that strip of it, if not the whole roll, to light. So how do we do it? We pop open, in this case I'm using an F5. And I look in here and you have the shutter. Now you'll never see the shutter in your digital camera unless you hold the mirror up, lock it up, and the shutter is down. This is not something you want to touch. You never want to touch the shutter. It's, it's very delicate. It's very soft. You don't want to do that because that will screw up your camera and then you'll have to send it back and get it fixed or at that point just find a new one. Um, also you have the film plate. This is the pressure plate that holds the film in place and flat. A thing that you can notice on those when you look at them is how clean or how dirty in terms of scratches they are. The more scratches means the more rolls of film that were put through it. It's not a bad thing, it's just how it is. So in loading this film, I just put the film like this and I would slide across the leader just a little bit until both of the sprocket holes meet the feeder in this camera. And then I would close it and then uh, it, it would load for me. But I don't want to load it right now because I'm not sure what film I'm going to use. So you would close this, you would load it. In some cameras you have to take a couple of pictures to move the leader across because anything that is here right now is actually exposed to light and is going to come out fully, well, the negative is going to be completely clear because it's exposed to light, meaning that if we printed it in a dark room, it would give you a totally black print. So really, those are things to look for when you're, when you're exposing film or when you're loading film into your camera. Don't touch the shutter. Don't touch the film plate um, and just make sure that the sprocket holes pick it up. You shut it, you, you close it, you start taking pictures and you're good to go. So that is another Fro Film Project video and we'll be back with more at a later date. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. If you are on Facebook, be sure to go to facebook.com slash froknowsphoto, hit the like button, leave some comments, post some photos, get some critiques done, and maybe win some contests.